you will need to reuse the inner bearing from your stock enduro knuckle but the outer bearing is provided as you can see here Hey guys, welcome back to Revolution XRC. Today we're going to be adding another upgrade to this Enduro Trail Walker with IFS installed. Um, with the solid axle, we've got a few options of adding brass weights up front. Well, the good news is you're able to do that with the IFS as well. I will be using these SSD brass knuckles that I have on my Enduro Sendero, and these same brass knuckles will also fit the IFS setup. And I'll put a link to these in the description below. As you can see here, this is everything that comes with the SSD brass knuckles for the Enduro. You will need to reuse the inner bearing from your stock Enduro knuckle, but the outer bearing is provided as you can see here. Let's go ahead and get started. Now you want to use the shorter screws that come with the knuckles. You can see the existing uh, pivot ball screws uh, fit right into the knuckle. So all you really need to do is reuse the nut and the pivot ball screw right here. Um, so you don't need these screws that come with the brass knuckles.
can see here that fits perfectly well. Now we'll continue to the other side. And there you have it. The SSD brass knuckles are now installed on the IFS. So this should definitely help the front weight bias of the Enduro with the IFS on. Uh, of course the IFS already adds some front weight but I wanted a little bit more. And this is a perfect solution since it's pretty much just uh, install it in and good to go. No modifications needed. Another, th another thing that I did notice uh, while running this rig with the IFS setup, since the front springs are so stiff, it actually makes the rear work a little bit and the rear being the stock gray springs tends to uh, compress really easily because of the stiff front so I am going to try to stiffen the rear up with the element yellow springs and you can see here 2.47 pounds per inch and I'll put a link to this in the description below as well as the brass knuckles and I'm just going to try to balance that out a little bit by making the rear stiffer so that the front, because of its stiffness, doesn't uh, compress the rear too easily. Because sometimes I've noticed that when I'm trying to climb an incline, the rear gives out and the front will just lift like that. So I'm going to try to prevent that with these stiffer yellow springs. 
and we'll see how it goes after that I do have some springs in mind for the front as well but I'm gonna run them with just the yellow springs in the rear to see how that affects the rig So with the rear stiffened up, I hope that prevents the rear from collapsing uh, too easily when the front is lifted because of the stiff front. So hopefully the stiffer rear balances out the stiff front and I can't wait to take it out on the rocks to see how it does. Um, last time Bart brought it out with the Class 1 Proline KM3s, this truck impressed me. I mean, without these current mods, I was able to do two lines that are usually really difficult for my, uh, or for trucks like my Element Sendero with uh, 4.75 size tires. So when I saw this truck do those two lines, I just had to see what I could do and to make it more capable and see what it could really do because the fact that it made those two lines with how I had it set up before with class 1 tires and the IFS it really impressed me that it made it up those lines so hopefully the addition of these brass knuckles and the stiffer rear will help me make those lines more easily and I can't wait to show you a running video when I get it out next thanks for watching please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for the next video of my element Enduro Trail Walker Thanks for watching.